Hey guys, Technical Trouble with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue if you're unable to install iOS 17 update. Now, iOS 17 was just released today, and some people are having issues where they're not able to install it when they go into their settings. Right, you go into your settings, you go to general software update, and the update is either there for you or not, or even after you downloaded it, it doesn't install. Now, there's multiple reasons why it's happening, and you want to go through these troubleshooting steps to help you fix that issue. So, if you already have a nice grade, you can just click on it and then click on download and install and update. But if you don't have it, first thing you need to check is that your phone is compatible with iOS 17. So, if you look at the compatible devices you need an iPhone SE second generation or newer for iOS 17. The iPhone 10 or older will not update iOS 17. The iPhone 10R, 10S, and the 10S Max will also update anything newer than that. So important to know that. And if you want to look up the list, you can go to pretty much on Google and just search for iOS 17 compatible devices. So you can search that, see if your device is available for there and you can check it on for your phone if you're not exactly sure you can go on Apple's website and it will tell you exactly all the compatible devices that they have listed here which is the important thing to do because some so if you have an older phone it will not work so you can go ahead and check out all these devices that are compatible as you can see here it's listed down here if you need to take a look at that if you have one of these then you'll get iOS 17 if not iOS 17 won't be compatible. Next thing you want to do if you're having issues is go ahead and put your phone in airplane mode for briefly and turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh so that, again, anything impacting the network will fix the issue for not being able to install iOS 17. Now, after you have done that, other thing you need to verify is your battery percentage. So the battery percentage needed to successfully install any major update is 50% or more. If not, you want to be connected to a power source, meaning connected to a charger while it's charging, and then retry to do the upload to the install of your iOS 17. So in order to check your battery percentage, you can just pull down the menu from the top and it will list it. As you can see, I have 29%, which means I need to charge it while it's installing or wait till it's 50% or more. You can also go into your settings in your settings you can also go into your battery and then you can look for it right over here as well from the top here so either way it works but 150 percent or more now after you have done that the next thing you want to check is your iPhone storage level you need the storage to be available because it's a big update usually I recommend at least 10 gig available you can check in your settings here and you can go to general and then look for iPhone storage here now in the iPhone storage here, you want to see how many gig your phone has and how many is available. So this is a 64 gig model iPhone. I'm using up 12.4 gig. Now let's say if I was using up maybe like 60 gig out of 64 gig, I don't have enough storage. I'll need to delete some stuff. Usually longer videos are a good way to clear up some space and then any apps after that and other photos, videos like that will clear up some space and then some recommendation that Apple recommends you can pretty much follow these steps to clear up some space. I can for example do this and clear up some space just like that but you need at least 10 gigs. So if you have a 64 gig you need at least I would say 54 available or you can use up to 54 be able to download and install and you want to go ahead and check it for your device so clear up some space by deleting some stuff now after you have that the next thing you want to do when your iPhone is a force restart so in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and once the Apple logo reappear let go of that button and then it will do a force restart so volume up volume down and then I hold the side button just like that I'm gonna wait till the screen goes completely black and then I'll let go of that button it's more than to do that so that the phone shuts down completely and then it will reload the code again so again if you're having any software related issue it will fix that issue for you now this method will not delete any of your personal data so you don't have to worry about any of that at all so as you can see it's starting up pretty good which is a good sign for us and hopefully after that you'll be able to install iOS 17. Now we'll wait and then get back to our phone and then go into our settings general software update and hopefully you can do the update. Now if we still can't do the update here one thing you can do is that for for if you if you have an update that was downloaded already you can delete that update and then re-download it again. If you do have that update available it's going to show up just like this. So I'll show you a picture. 
you'll be able to where you can delete the update and then re-download it later again this will also help especially if the download got corrupted or there was an issue with the download itself so do that as well now the other thing you want to check in your phone setting is if you're still having issues is in your settings here you want to go to privacy here and security and then once you go to privacy and security here you want to be able to go ahead and ensure that your phone is not on what's known as lockdown mode which is going to be available if you see it here there's going to say lockdown mode you want to turn it off here i don't have it but it if it does show it for you you're going to want to turn that off now after you have done that the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is reset your uh, your network setting by going to your settings and then general go all the way down here which says transfer reset iPhone, you're going to click on reset. The reset that you want to do is the second one, which is the network refresh uh, reset. What that does is it basically deletes any default settings around saved Wi Fi or any Bluetooth connected devices and generally take about a minute or two to do. But it's important to do that again if you're having any issues, especially when it comes to iOS 17 download and install as well. All you'll do is once you're back on your phone here, it will allow you to again reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe, so you don't have to worry about that. So here, as you can see here, one black, that's fine. It's gonna come back again. Like I said, take sometimes a minute or two to do, but really safe to do in order to fix any network-related issue impacting the download installation of iOS 17. Now, finally, if you're still having the issue with installing iOS 17 it's time to move on to the very last step which is using a computer to do the installation so I'll show you that all now. right so in order to use your computer or MacBook you need to get iTunes if you have a computer or older MacBook which you can go to the internet and download so if you go to in your, your browser and search up iTunes it's a free app from Apple you can go ahead and download it exactly like this simple to do you can just follow the steps and once you download it or if you have a newer macbook you don't need itunes you can simply connect your iphone with your computer so i'm going to go ahead and connect it so i connect it with the same charge cable that i use basically you want to be able to connect it to your computer and once you connect it here right on itunes you want to trust it and then on finder here you can just go over here trust it here same exact process works on iTunes as well. You'll be able to go ahead and set it up as a new device, right? You want to hit continue here, and then you want to click on that update here. Now, depending on the version you have, you might have to, for example, this one's iOS 15, and you have to go to iOS 16 and then 17, but basically click that update button and let it do the update installation through your computer. And after that, hopefully you're able to install iOS 17. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.